Welcome to this video showing you some of the new features of version 1.1.1 of Material UI. Dropdowns now have more vertical pivot types. You can now decide to use the low base to display the drop-down menu below the button, top to have the top of the menu aligned with the button, first item to align the menu with the first item and the button, center to center the menu, last item to align the menu and the button to the last item, button to have the bottom of the menu aligned with the button, and finally above base to display the menu above the button. We also added a parameter called Ignore Input After Shown, which is a delay you can use if you want to avoid users to rapidly click on a drop-down menu and select an item by mistake. Next, we added an option to create an empty game object with various layered components. You can, for example, create a self-sized horizontal layout. A stretched vertical layout that will take the entire space of the parent, or a fitted horizontal layout that will automatically resize according to what's inside. You can see the size is 48 by 48, and now it's 192 by 48. We also added a simple way to create other types of progress indicators. Instead of just creating a simple progress indicator, you can now create a progress indicator with a label, or a horizontal one with a label. Progress indicators now also have a new parameter called Stars Hidden that will hide the progress indicator when it's first shown. These are just examples of some changes. Be sure to check out the changelog for more info. See you soon for new updates.